Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Title An Improved Direct AC to AC Converter for Voltage Shock Medication. Abstract A dynamic voltage restore is a definitive solution of dual compensation of voltage shock with the FHM conventional of TVR topologies. However, have a DC link and two stage of power conversion. This is increase its size, cost, and associated losses. Therefore, the topologies without the DC link mitigating sack utilizing of direct AC to AC converters. So, preferable for the conventional one, no storage device is employed. Compensation by these topologies limited only by the voltage. At the point of common coupling, that is, feeding the converters in this paper, direct AC to AC converter based topology. Fed with the line voltage is proposed, the arrangement provide increase the range of compensation in terms of magnitude, phase angle correction, detailed of have been carried out with the capability of topologies compensate the various sacks. Introduction So the high insensitivity of electronic device employed the various applications such as computing the control of power conversion has made quality power and inevitable requirement voltage sack is one of the power quality problem that cause the economic losses due to the malfunctions in each industry 20 to 30 times per year with the average cost of 50 dollars so the fault system remote of our interruption so the voltage have decreased the voltage in rms between 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 per unit at the power frequency the model voltage shock it's a point common coupling illustrate typical of every shock of phase jump so it's a ratio of the source and feeder the phase jump occur the different impedance so the effect of shock associate the phase jump at various point on the way so the substantiates the jump create imbalance in voltage leading to the transient overshoot the current resulting determined effect of sensitive equipment however the alternate topology the compensate using a direct ac to ac convert eliminating the dc link or comparatively less sophisticated of pay jump so the injector voltage is derived the source voltage existing the existing method the conventional topology operate with the dc link so the dc link bulkier and costlier it also implies the limit of compensation capability it's utilizing direct ac to ac convert at a preferable conventional ones so no storage device is employed the topology is a flexible control scheme depending the voltage the line voltage can be increased the compensation range of topologies is proposed in this paper overcome the limitation compensation of capability so the AC AC chopper shock of the fed with line voltage auto mirror the interface. Disadvantage power system to lower voltage level through the transformer. Capability of topology disturb different types of voltage shock and compared with other topologies. Proposed the proposed system we have used dynamic voltage restore series connected custom of mitigate of voltage shock. It's a AC to DC DC to AC convert. It's a direct convert eliminating of DC leak. So the energy storage make the TVR unit bulkier and costlier. The DC link impose limit to the compensation capability of DVR in magnetic duration. The voltage supporter provided between the PCC and the load. Proposed system advantage. This is achieved using triangular carrier waves to generate the signal IGBT driven through the auto isolator. It had a good performance voltage source and low cost system architecture so first you can design the ac chopper ac chopper internally connect the ac to ac converter of three phase shock voltage supporter phase shock we have used to identify the phase to phase fault detect so we have used the dynamic voltage reporter the voltage source we have act as the main part for the circuit and it will be the final you can detect the ac to ac voltage combination waveform analysis experimental analysis and finally you can got the output of three phase fault voltage output and three phase of voltage transformer output so you can calculate the voltage and current output also
improved direct ac to ac converter for voltage shock mitigation so this is the circuit first you can design the single phase model for voltage shock so voltage shock you can first design ac chopper ac chopper you can connect the ac voltage source and load for final in between you can design the half bridge full bridge of diode circuit so you can parallelly connect the capacitor from both primary and secondary for the load so two kind of induction load you can connect and capacitor and four kind of diodes igbt diode or mosfet anything one you can use we are using igbt diode because the good performance so phase ac chopper shack you can design after it will build for the main circuit diagram for the linear transformer it will be connect both two kind of linear transformer connected ac chopper so the first a linear transformer winding two windings only we have used first winding it will be directly connect ac voltage source the ac voltage series connected for the resistance and inductance after then second windings another end it will be connected load load we have given any resistors or inductor or capacitance the load value maximum we have used resistance uh, ac voltage you can provide 100 means load you can provide 50 or 200 or in between half of the input or uh, double of the input we have provided the load phase are supported we have connected for the ac chopper one end another end it will be grounded ac voltage source we have connected one end for resistance and inductance series another end it will be grounded so this is the interface of ac to ac convert topologies after the topologies you can connect three phase of breaker and three voltage of current measurement and then the fault of three phase identification so phase shock you can detect the three phase of voltage fault detection so the sine wave it will be continue for the voltage and current waveform input also ac output also ac so this is the ac to ac in between the switches it will be you can get the switching pulses dynamically the switching pulses is the bidirectional of connected in linear transform so linear transform also you can get the ac output only so the line of three line voltage of phaser it's a constitute of three sector represent so each supporter can be operated over two sectors so the switching of s1 s2 s3 s4 you can get the normal switching pulses and the voltage sac supporter provide the pcc and load of the any other phase corresponding the voltage so you have given the input of ac voltage you can get the higher frequency needed for the switching pulse of igbt diode in high frequency of other power frequency so di dynamically the phase analysis it will be go estimated waveform analysis so three kind of analysis you can get so you can use rms value to find the phase shock supporter and fault so the three voltage of three phase voltage current measurement you can connect the three phase shock breaker and then you can find the load and ac voltage source dynamically for the fault of the output in rms value so the time and waveform analysis the phase stack it will be continuously type of continuous compensation capability of a b c d four types you can analyze first type you can analyze the ac output d is the load and further c is the phase to phase fault and b is the you can I connected the compensation of interface topology better compensation so this is the final output so given the input you can get the ac to ac output only